Chapter 8, The New Emperor Several days later, Bray and Anna Wilson were by Sonoma's side as Darius laid by his now deceased mother's bedside. The unknown bug had killed her. The great champion for peace died before truly seeing her dreams of everlasting peace come true. As all of Anjoska went into deep mourning, Akari was furious. She wanted answers to how as to how Natasha came into contact with an unknown bug while in her castle alone. If keeping up with the plan, Dotetta told her that it was from Madonna. Akari was even more enraged as they were the last force to deal with. Akari, if only I had dealt with them sooner. Shit! I will go myself and find these responsible and bring who for bringing praying to Darius. So, weeks later, Akari occurred a scene took her own Essene army to find the Midorian Bashar and bring them to justice. Formus Pipple, 29, was the head of the people who succeeded the Essene a long time ago, but now the Essene were back and both powers lived as one. Formus was loyal to Akari as he had a crush on her. He led his troops to aid Akari on a quest for justice. As they landed on the main Midorian Bashar planet, Akari and the others walked to where their intelligence told them the enemy might be. Akari, I will find those responsible, even if I have to burn half of this galaxy to dust. Then the lightning from the sky started, uh, started the thunder down as Akari got angrier and angrier. The troops went around, outing the flames the lightning caused to prevent a forest fire. Formis had never seen Akari this angry before. He knew that her newfound powers were the cause of this lightning, but he realized that it was her feeling, feelings for Darius that made her this feel this way. Formis had a long way to go before he could win over Akari's heart at this rate. Still, he continued to serve her faithfully. Fearing for their lives, the locals in the nearby town gave up the location of the troops were hiding. Thrilled, Akari flew up in the air towards her prey. A terrible storm had started as her army made made pace to keep up. Formis, hurry men, with me! When Akari landed in the middle of the camp, covered in electricity, no one could get close to her as she was filled with raw power that one could be killed if they did. Akari, in prime form, I'll kill you all! She then lets out a mighty burst of energy that kills most of them in seconds. Then she moved the hack and slash all those who stood in her way. The lightning was too much for even the troops to get close to her. Bombers, stay clear, men, unless you want to be burnt alive. Alive. Let's let her blow off some steam for now. If any enemy runs this way, we ought to capture them alive to get information about the bug. After 10 minutes, the deep forest area was made into a wasteland, as charred bodies of enemies were everywhere. Akari had captured one of the unlucky soul, one unlucky soul, and held him up in the air in a chokehold. Akari, with fire and fear in her eyes, tell me, what is the cure for this bug now, man? I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I saw. I never saw that type of bug before ever. None of us have. Please don't kill me, Akari. Lies. Goes to kill him. Thomas. Stops her. Wait, my lady. He speaks the truth. We captured one of the enemies. And they all said the same thing. Whatever Emperor Natasha died of, it was a Madonna. Akari then jumps the man. And the man runs off to his mother. So, if not them, then why thought the Eta and all of his wisdom said so? Thomas, I have no idea. Perhaps something is amiss here. Akari, I smell a rat. I have a gut feeling about something, but I don't want to say it out loud just yet, without all the facts. Just when news came that Sonoma had died from the same book, and now the whole plan Utopia was on lockdown to contain it. Akari had failed to find answers, but now the universe will belong to her dear Darius. What will he do in these uncertain in time of uncertainty? Months later, Utopia was open again, as there was no more trace of the bug 
to be found. Then the largest funeral to ever happen in the universe. So both Natasha and Sonor began. This time, Akari held up Darius as he was out without a mother and father in such a short time. While everyone was crying, Bray and Ella knew that they had to be there for Darius more than ever as he was about to become emperor. Unknown to them, both Darius and Angelo knew what was to come next. Angelo takes the throne. A week later, Elder Ira came to visit Darius to pay him to pray over him for guidance and strength as he was next in line to lead Anjosico. To his shock, however, he would find that Darius was not up to the task at hand. Ira upset. Are you kidding me? What do you mean you don't want to be don't want the throne? Darius, I already discussed this with Uncle. I'll give it to him. Ira, I don't trust that man. He has changed since the last war, and everything that has happened only benefits him. Are you aren't you concerned at all? By that? Darius, I was made to fight for Androsko, not to lead it. Angelo is the head of the family and the number two in the universe. I know he will be right for us all. Iroh, I see now that you are nothing like your grandfather or mother. I am sure you mean well, but this will forever change Androsko. He then turns and walks away from him. I will pray over to be emperor pay over angelo to be emperor but after that i'm done with angelica bye walks away darius then sits quietly alone and cries silently to himself soon after everyone was shocked and in awe when darius gave up his birthright to angelo darius spoke to alani about his choice and she was overjoyed to see the great leader like her uncle at last taking the throne Angelo then has his first speech as Emperor Angelo of Anjosica. Angelo, my people, we have come a long way. We have faced many challenges and foes, but we have brought other empires before us to their knees. But now we have a new era before us. Our forefathers and mothers and leaders have paved the way for us to reach this far. Now, as our goal towards everlasting peace draws nearer, I ask you for all your continued prayers and support in me and our cause. Together we will crush all our fools and bring joy and happiness and everlasting peace to all. And then all in attendance cheered, Hurrah! As Emperor Angelo walks down from his throne with Dr. Etta and Santan in tow, he stops to greet Darius and his friends. And heads off. In the crowd, Akari and her three close friends, Bertha, Laura, and Thomas, were there to represent Bilderon. As they left, Akari could finally say out loud what she was thinking back in Madonia. Akari, as she walks close to Bertha along with four other two friends on the ship, I saw a rat today. Thomas, you know who it is now? Bertha, what do you mean? Akari, our new emperor could be a murderer. Laura, no way. Akari, I don't want this information to leave the four of us, okay? I want to be sure before I tell Darius and his friends. Therefore, indeed, such words could start a real war. A war we are not yet ready for, I may hide. Akari, Berfa. Berfa, yes. Akari, use your spies and find out where the bug came from. Thomas. Thomas, yes, my love, I mean, my lady. Laura face palms at the sight of Thomas's mistake. Laura, I want you to spy on the captured Sudi scientists. Now, Father Angelo's emperor, whatever he was using them for will soon be, will soon come to light. I want us to be ready for anything. Laura, what do you want me to do, my lady? Akari, Laura, continue the train, for I feel conflict is on the horizon. And I have known of your little trips to Risi to see Shane. I'm sorry to make your personal life political, but we need the Risi to be on our side This one, for this one. Now go. Laura, yes ma'am. As the three of Akari's friends went on to do their task, Akari vowed to protect Bilderon and have her interests from Angelo and his plans, no matter what the cause. 
She was becoming the leader that she was born to be. Akari, I will go and see my mother one last time before all hell breaks loose.